Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you, as always, uh, for your tweet. Craig Burley's here, Stevie as well. Frank, just feel for a couple of seconds. I just need to get the questions. Say something interesting. Oh, this Take is your time. Oh, he's making. Well, we've got you now. Well, that was good television. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, has Havertz redeemed his legacy at Arsenal, Frank? <laughs> oh, my God. Really? That's really your question right now? Um, let's wait a little bit, you know, and maybe answer within like two, one or two seasons and see how it works. But really, right now, yeah, he's called a good goal. That's still, it. He's still an expensive self, isn't he? <laughs> yes. But he's still, still a nice goal today. Why do you have to be? Oh, he does. Yeah. I'm just saying. Why do you have to be negative? Right well, because he's not. The suggestion is, is he's a bike. But the truth is, I don't think anyone's himself. suggesting he's back. Well, like, he's redeemed himself with one goal. It was just a question. Right. What does redeemed mean? It was a question. So it's okay now. <laughs> no, you can say no, he unless, hasn't redeemed Unless my English is... You can uh, say no, he hasn't redeemed himself. We don't have to be mean to him. I wasn't being mean to him at all. Well, he's saying 100 million pounds sub. He says he's an expensive sub. Question for Stevie and Frank. After watching a Ramsdale in the first half, who completely lacked confidence, does it subconsciously make the defenders not want to pass to him? Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Because all you can think about is, well, the last time I gave him it, it looked as though the last thing he wanted was the ball. So then you start looking elsewhere, which takes you longer, which gives you less time on the ball. So it's kind of a, it kind of affects everybody, not just Ramsdale. It affects the defenders as well. Frank? Yeah, I agree. I think it's not about the fact you don't want to give him the ball, it's you don't want to put him into trouble again. So you want to avoid, um, you know, uh, putting, him, uh, putting him in the same situation. So you don't want to give him the ball. And it's not because you don't trust him. It's just because you don't want to, again, trouble him. Did anyone in the crew's family maintain a sort of scrapbook or anything of that sort, keeping a record of news articles about them? Why are you laughing? Oh, my mum. Everybody's mum does, right? Does she? Aye. Aye. That's nice. All the old alien eighties stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you're in the paper, she cut it out. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have it? Aye, it's in the earth. Oh, nice theory. Aye. Sometimes flick through it. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's in the loft. Every night. Every yeah. night you're watching it. It's in the loft. In between YouTube videos. Yes. What about you? I don't know. No? I think they did. Right. I, can't, I, can't I bet your mum did. I bet your mum did. Yeah. We're going Can't through see. the house. Right. Because obviously they're both parents are, yeah. are away now. So we're going through the house seeing some old photos. But I don't remember seeing well, lots of old photos. I don't remember seeing this. Well, your sister would go like that or him again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, chuck, chuck that out the fire. Yeah. Oh, chuck yeah. oh, him again. Chuck him again. Oh, football. The papers again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Frank? <laughs> well, uh, I guess my mother uh, used to uh, collect everything and she showed me once, but I don't know where she put everything and uh, I'm not very interested about that, so I don't, I don't open any anything that to, uh, could show what I did wrong or, 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 or right. Oh. It's part of the past and I have everything well, in my head so I know what I did. <laughs> Frank, that's a bit Frank. negative. <laughs> so, well, well like, the, like the stuff, the stuff with your very first team and you look back at all the pictures and all the other stuff. Yeah, but not everybody's the same, you know. No, I know, but I mean, what, what else would you get other than pleasure out of looking at it? Oh. Oh, you lead a very shallow <laughs> life, don't <laughs> <aren't> you? <laughs> it's me. It's oh, me. Me. <laughs> 40 years ago. It's yeah. me again. Oh, the worst. My oh, no, come here. The worst. Where's Waldo ever? <laughs> oh yeah, there I am. I remember this game. What happened was this is a kind of this is a kind of trick thing. against Newcastle. Yes, yeah. we know. This is the kind of thing that worry. This is the kind of thing that worry him. What was it? What was the conversation earlier? We were sat here and he went. Do you like Brussels sprouts? Yeah, I know. Where did that come from? And I went, yeah. yeah. And I went, yeah. I was on my phone. You said no, didn't you? No, I don't like this. Well, he I'll... said, would you this? I can't make my mind up. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Steve? I did as well. I did as well. Uh, where do you stand on Brussels sprouts, Frank? Oh. Uh, 
Uh, I love Brussels sprouts, oh. and my is my is one of the favorite dish of my daughter, and uh, and um, yeah, I, I I don't know, I I, I love it. It's very healthy. Yeah, yeah, but that's the problem. For, uh, not good for her. Not good for no, me. Because, off. Yes, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we don't need any of no, that. No, no. Craig, who would you rather have? Ancelotti to continue with Real Madrid next season, or someone like Xabi Alonso to come in? Yeah. Oh, Real Madrid. Well, you never said Real Madrid, did you? If you're going to ask the questions, did he say Real Madrid? He didn't, did he? <laughs> Yeah, was like well, he didn't say Real Madrid. Yes, you said, did, Craig, would you rather... No, you never. Would you rather have Angelotti to continue next season or someone else like Xavi Alonso? You did not say Real Madrid. So what, what other club could I be referring to? I have no idea. Who's Carlo Ancelotti? Brazil. Ancelotti? Who's Carlo Ancelotti? Brazil. Who's in charge of? You could have been of? talking about Brazil. But who's in charge of? Oh, so we're nah, supposed to know it, now. It means oh, yes, I think, oh, I think we, are, we all know the Carlo. Oh, no, sorry, we're supposed hey, to don't know. Don't start looking at backtracking. We're supposed to... No, you never said Real Madrid. So they, they didn't, you didn't put two and two together? It did, well, but two and two is a five. <laughs> Can you excuse me one second, Craig? Thank right. you. You having Brussels? I'll say to you what you always say to me. <laughs> People on the eye, on, listening to it on, a, on the podcast, can't can't see it, but we can see it on the screen. So if you don't see Real Madrid, yeah. then they won't Because they can't work it out either. Okay. Uh, but we're being told that I did say it. They yeah. checked the tape. He was thinking about Brussels again. I've checked it to so you. Would you like to apologise? No. Chance. Hey, you forced those poor yeah. people in Liverpool to apologise. <laughs> Well, rightly so. Well, they, because they were in the wrong, so you were in the wrong way. Right. All right, well, it's only 246 to you and one to me. Right. Got a bit of catching up to do, so I'm no apologising. No apologising. No chance. Oh, in years to come, you can go back and look at that in your scrapbook. Yeah. Apologised. Yeah. Apologised to me. Yeah. Apologised. that in there. Uh, the answer, I need to buy a new one. That one's full. Uh, the day I didn't like Brussels sprouts, I'd uh, I, I, what was the question? Uh, <laughs> Real Madrid. Madrid. As good as Ancelotti has been, brilliant. I think it's time. I would say Xabi Alonso. Xabi Alonso has come in. It's time for him to go to Brazil. Yeah. Copacabana on the beach. Don't you think, day. Craig? Yeah. Craig, don't you think it's too early for Xabi Alonso to have that kind of pressure? I mean, he just started. He does well in a club that is mostly kind of a, a family club with no pressure. And coming straight to Real Madrid could be too early for me. Uh, um, and maybe a lack of experience at that level in that new job uh, could be dramatic in well, a way that I guess he has a bright future, but I'm not sure he's ready for that. Zidane did it though, didn't he, Frank? I was going to say Zidane, how much? He, he didn't coach anywhere before. No, that's true, that's true, but uh, he Zidane is Zidane. Though, wasn't he? He was, he was with he the was, B team. Yeah, he was, yeah, but he was already in the fabric of the building. Yeah. <laughs> Fabric. <laughs> the only fabric I can see is on your jacket. <laughs> What's up with you now? Fabric of the film. Oh, I beg your pardon. Fabric. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, know if another, you know if a manager had said <laughs> I'm fabric, very sorry. he'd have been saying right, no. If somebody else had said that, he'd have been going, what nonsense is that? Fabric of the building? Absolute what nonsense. He's in the fabric of the, he was in the fabric of the building. Is that suit not warm, Steve, your new jacket? It looks... Well, it is winter. No. <laughs> We're not in here. See, see... <laughs> Frank, trying to be clever, man. Frank, do you like? Hey, Frank, he doesn't like see it. This? See, see the classic. He doesn't like it, so he's trying to be. He's trying to be clever. Like what? Uh, just I don't, usual. What? We don't the see usual from nonsense. Where I, I think it looks. Well, you're just talking nonsense. Like and quite now quite what you're trying to do is deflect. It looks That's like all you're quite doing. A thick jacket. That's what I'm well, saying. Well, it is. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, it's lovely and cosy for the winter. I don't think it was just him that didn't like it. I think that's why it was still on the hanger. It's not the winter in here, is it? The temperature doesn't change here throughout the year. Well, so it's usually cold in here. Mm? It's usually cold in here. Well, not now, it's warm. Well, the old delay tactic there, they heard me fine. He went, hmm? The old delay tactic. Mm? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, this is getting a bit hostile. All your tricks. Uh, for Stevie, start, bench or drop? Raking leaves, Lukaku on his phone, Shaka not bothered by Lukaku on his phone. Stevie didn't oh, like you it, Craig. You've got to drop the leaves. Yeah, drop yeah. the leaves. Get them. And then... Lukaku on his phone, and then, yeah, Chaka's, Chaka's got to be uh, top of the pile. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> but it must yeah. be... A, it, I tell you, it makes me angry thinking about it. It must be all done now, though, yeah? No. Uh, no. Why? Still got the last lot to do. Okay, why don't you just get someone around to sort it one out for you? All right, can you come around and uh, sort them out for me? Well, if, if you pay me. Well, yeah, no chance. <laughs>
Well, if it makes, come around. If it makes you so angry, then why don't you just pay oh, for just it? Come round. You can come round. I don't want to come round. You should get somebody to do it. So I'm that makes you. them angrier. You come down. I know. I'm paying someone. Yeah. And there's the car. Can that made you angry as well, Stevie? Yeah, no. It's been a tough week. Yeah. Oh, we've got to get the back of the hoose done with the yeah. painting. Say again. We've got to get the back of the hoose done with the painting. What's going to do with the car? Well, you're saying go and get somebody to pay somebody. Oh, OK. Go get that. Yeah. I need a new windscreen. I've got a chip in the windscreen. That's free. Just bought a new suite. Right. I want a good week. Oh, dear. Well, you need, you'll need to translate that. A new suite. You know what a suite is? Well, it's couch, isn't it? Couch yeah. and a chair. Yeah. Yeah. Three-piece suite. You say that in England? Yeah. Three-piece yes. suite. Three you don't suite. say it here. No. Do you? Yeah. That's giving me fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, how much of Erling... Do you think if we hadn't spent, or he's going to spend painting the house, <laughs> new, new couch, yeah. I think if that wasn't the case... It would have crossed my mind. A leaf man person would have yeah. crossed my mind. Would have been... Yeah, I think so. It would have crossed my mind. Right. Or Dan we've, just come around. We've gone off track, gone off track. How much of Erling Haaland's fastest to the 50 goals records is his individual talent compared to the fact that he plays for Manchester City, Frank? Well, you have to give him some credits about that, you know, uh, especially, well, today, the way that he tried to uh, free himself and control the ball and shoot, it's because he's, he worked on that during training session because he exactly knows where he's situated on the field and he has the feeling and the, the flair for, for, for those situations. So you have to give him the credit. Now, it's true that he's surrounded um, uh, by by fantastic players who know how, how to serve him. So it's, um, I would say, not 50-50. I would say 60 for him and 40 for, for, for the teammates. He's, bro he's broken scoring records at every club he's been at. Mm -hmm. So, you can't argue with that. Stevie, you surprised Trent won man of the match. <laughs> I'd like, I, how did he get man of the match? Uh, he was given it. Well, does that say more about the, the rest of the team than it does about him? Because... He scores a great goal. Yes. But on the other hand, he could have he, he could have stopped the, the, the first goal going on because of a horrendous non-challenge, a, a horrendous attempt at a challenge. I have a question, Stevie. Yeah. Stevie, you know better than me. Who, who give that stupid man of the match decision? Stevie, you know. I have no idea. Who does that? I have no idea. It's only the co-commentator. Yeah. So isn't nobody it? knows oh. who. He, is that is that the the spoken man? You know, the give the guy who give the no substitution and uh, usually, because usually, we never know. Usually, right? We never knew. Yeah. Usually, Frank, you know what happens with the sponsors? Depends who they want to come up to the ball. Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't know whether they still well, do the that. Sponsors might the match with Man City. Still, it's a home yeah, game. I still, I don't know whether they do it today, but certainly when we were playing. With the co comments guy, which yeah. which you need to say no more about that. There you go. Really. Uh, uh, do you think it's fair for the Bundesliga to set games for Bayern Munich on Friday nights for them to prepare well for the Champions League? No, I, I think PSG do as well, don't they? PSG do. Well, I, I think Friday, I don't have an issue with Friday night games, but I, I think Friday night, Friday games off the back of an international calendar are ridiculous. Mad. We're already to and fro on about a 12.30 on a Saturday. Yeah. Friday, Stevie said, that's, that's madness. What about in general? Is it unfair advantage for them? For, for PSG and Bayern, compared to others who play in the Champions League who have to play Well, on. that's up to their own leagues. Yeah, it's, uh, Listen, every little bit helps. Right. I wouldn't, go as far, I wouldn't go as far to say it's an unfair advantage. It's definitely an advantage. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean... What do you think, Frank? I would, I would have... Would, <laughs> here we go with the money I, situation I, I again. Wish I, would have, I would have thought that most, most leagues in the world should go out of the way to help the teams from their league in a major competition. Right. You should at least try. Exactly. Ex yeah. Exactly. It's up to the Premier League to do the job. I mean, uh, if the Ligue 1 or the Bundesliga try to advantage uh, Bayern or Paris Saint-Germain, uh, they have the right to do so, and they, they've been clever. I think the Premier League is not serving well Newcastle in that matter. I tell you what, if the Premier League, at the moment, if the Premier League said there's a Friday night game for some of these big boys ahead of the European, I tell you what would happen. They'd have some of them would be playing on a Sunday or a Monday or a Tuesday in the Carabao Cup or some cup, and they'd be like, oh, I mean, this is brain dead, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> you know, that's, it just seems that that's 
whatever way they go at the moment, the managers find another reason to complain. Final question is for you, Stevie. And the pundits. How can a manager get this Chelsea side to perform consistently? I mean, honestly, right now, better players. Buy some players. Yeah, buy some more players. I think, I think they've run out, though. They've run out of dough. It's going until January. Have they got money, though? Sell some players. Sell more players. Sell some, bring some in. Graham Potter sat back with staff, counting them whatever. Oh, yeah, he's loving it, isn't he? Counting the money going. See, things have uh, got better at Chelsea. Yeah, that is it. Um, that's it. I think that's enough now. Uh, thank you very much, Frank, at ESPN. Wait, 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 I've noticed. What have you done with your hair today? What do you mean? What's happened to my hair today? You notice that? He doesn't mean he doesn't mean product. Uh, ESPN FC will be back on your screens tomorrow. Yeah, we just buffed up. Oh, well. Uh, Real Madrid. Be a good game uh, as well. <laughs>